I cannot imagine making the casting all over Europe, um, like thinking, I was at the beginning thinking, so how am I going to find this character, you know? And Ed Talenta really made it uh, so fast. You know, the process was really fast. Actually, uh, we found the, I found the character like within two weeks. Well, it's about connecting. It's it's uh, as the as the world is really going into the online, and uh, for me, it's important as a casting director. For me, it's important to find the actors as as fast as possible, and it's amazing that that they could be on one platform. So I don't need to really search on separate websites. Yeah, because if each actor would have his own website, I mean, it would take you ages. And um, so, so that's amazing. Also, the database, how it how it is searchable, so you can search among the languages and uh, you know uh, skills or anything else. So you can you can really play with that. And um, yeah, and then you have a direct contact, which is amazing. You can directly contact the agent or the actor. First pictures. That's the first thing. When you look at the headshots, then you know already. Because, I mean, as, as natural the headshot is, as authentic and real the headshot is, is the better. And then, of course, uh, any video material, if it's show reel or I love the About Me video, that's amazing because that's that you can finally see the person in real and his authenticity and who he really is. It's important to see them, who they are, so really showing uh, who they are, not for, uh, for example, when they're doing the About Me video, you know, you really want to know who they are in a, you know, telling their story, you know, their own story uh, or why uh, they are, uh, why they want to be an actor or an actress, you know, something really, something that really catches you, you know, something that really gets you. Um, because uh, you you want to remember the actor, and even you you're looking for somebody else, you know, a specific, and you see like hundreds of actor actors, and then maybe for another project you will remember, you know, you will remember. Oh, there was this actor, or there was this actress, and I remember the story she was telling. So, to be really. Uh, I'm not, I don't want to say original, you know, I want to say that if, as, as more real they are and as more they show who they are and share their story, um, casting directors will remember. I send an uh, e-casting. And it was interesting because I received, it, it was, the character is very specific. And it's, um, it's very slender figure and uh, it's, 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 it, the character is very graceful, very feminine. Um, and there is something very art, 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 uh, aristocratic in the, in the character I was looking for, uh, in the movement, in the, posture, in the elegance, you know, and I was looking for a male character, uh -huh. uh, very, very vulnerable and shy, actually, but as well, very sophisticated and, uh, and uh, really rich um, in, in the insights and um, uh, skinny and, you know, almost kind of a David Bowie style. Yeah, so that's pretty, 
um, hard to pass and find. And that was, David Bowie was kind of an inspiration uh, also in his androgenic appearance, but as well about the charisma he has. So I thought I will receive just a few submissions because the characteristic was precise. I wasn't mm -hmm. really looking for an actor between 35 and 40, but I was really looking for something special. And I have received uh, like uh, around 1,000 submissions. And I was like, oh my gosh, so okay, so how am I going to go through this? So I was really checking, you know, every actor, but basically you go really by the picture because it tells you a lot and then selecting and selecting and selecting. And um, there were a few I liked, but I've had, I think, two weeks or one week. I don't remember exactly right now. So submissions were coming up and coming up. And I wasn't really, I didn't really find the, the one I was looking for. Because you knew, you know this from, from the first feeling, you know, if you have it or not. So, and then there was a, the last day of submission and there was the last one who submitted and that was Mantas. And I was like in awe basically because I was like, okay, this is him. Just from the picture, just seeing it in his eyes and um, uh, really like seeing this innocent eyes and um, really there was, there was, it was like, um, aha moment like okay this is this is him so and then uh i i think i have selected like five or six or seven actors and we send them a self-tape which was pretty difficult because the whole movie is basically almost non-speaking they only speak few, there are a few lines and um and if they speak we wanted the actors to speak czech and I was receiving uh, self tapes from all around Europe. So I've sent just a few lines because I wanted to hear uh, the sound. And, um, and uh, when Manta sent his self tape, it was, we knew it's him. Because the, the, the way he, he worked with the self tape was really amazing because he, the lighting he did, you know, he was re the 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 t-shirt he wear, you know. So he dressed like the character. He looked like the character, and he acted like the character, and he was the character. It was him. So that was absolutely amazing. And then we just had like a one Zoom call, and that was it. Then he we flew him to Prague for a personal meeting with the producer and director and. That was it. So really, I really thank you, Ed Talenta, for this because I cannot imagine making the casting all over Europe. Um, like thinking, I was at the beginning thinking, so how am I gonna find this character? You know. And Ed Talenta really made it uh, so fast. You know, the process was really fast. Actually, uh, we found the, I found the character like within two weeks. The project is still in production because the shooting is uh, divided into uh, two parts. Shooting in, in it, the shooting was in, well, three parts because the shooting was in summer, autumn, and then there is a winter part and actually there will be a spring part as well. So four seasons and uh, and the language is also uh, mixed. So it's like um, Czech, Slovak, Hungarian, Austrian. And uh, uh, I was looking for German speaking actors, but with a certain accent. I didn't even know what kind of accent. We just had to try <laughs> the German actors to make it. And I was casting a small roles, you know, like really small episode because the main character is a boy, is a Czech boy. 
and then uh, and then there is uh, another main character which is uh, uh, Hungarian actress, Hungarian Slovak actress Alexandra Borbeli and Milan Ondri. So most of the German speaking roles were like really little characters. And uh, also regarding the budget, we only had a certain budget for these actors. So I was wondering who is going to who is going to submit for these small roles for small budget shooting somewhere in Slovakia. And I was very surprised and uh, I found really amazing actors who were so excited to come to shoot to Slovakia, even for a, such a small role, but it's a beautiful project. So, and um, yeah, I'm also looking forward to see it because it's, um, it's a very strong story. Some of the actors were freelancers and some of the actors um, are represented by agents. So I'm really happy I could get in contact with the agents uh, because of any other future cooperations and uh, so it's a really nice um, it's a really amazing platform for connecting people in the in the same business well I started in uh, 1998 and um, a friend of mine uh, uh, French producer Antonio ben uh, Benki, Artemio Benki. He invited me to work with him on his first uh, feature film stories, oh. short stories, and it was four stories from four different directors, and he was one of it. It, uh -huh. it was called Prague Stories, and uh, he said he would like to work with me as a casting director because I was working in a, in a modeling agency as a head booker and he said he wants to cast uh, many people from the film, uh, from the fashion business and uh, he thought I'm the, I'm, I'm the best one, best one to, to help him with that. So we started the cooperation and then when we finished he invited me to to create a casting department in the production. Mm -hmm. So I said yes. And uh, I just started uh, my way in my own way into the casting world. Uh, I think for me, most important was the communication and uh, the passion and love for, for people and for actors and for models and for real people. And so I started to build the database and and going to theaters and performances. And I started with commercials. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's how I started. And then slowly I started with, uh, with feature films and independent uh, projects and then TV series and, and so on and so on and in 2002 I decided to create my own uh, casting agency so that's how Vivid Casting uh, was established and since then well since then I think it's like what 18 years or long time As a child, I was acting myself. I was a like a child actress, and I was a dancer. I was a performer, so I could relate to actors easily. And uh, but I wanted to be on the other side. I wanted mm -hmm. to be an act. I wanted to be an actress when I was uh, 14, and uh, uh, I wanted to apply for conservatory, but they um, they they didn't take me because uh, uh, I couldn't sing or there was something wrong with me, you know, all these beliefs. So I oh. thought that I will be never a good actress, but I, was, I always wanted to be in the, in the world of uh, film and, um, and TV. So uh, that's how it drew me. And uh, I can relate really easily to to actors so and i love actors i love my work well 
well now it's very popular the self taping so but but still you know when i'm casting the local feature films or tv series so we really still are bringing the actors into the studio which is amazing because you're still in personal contact and uh, either it's me there or I have the director there or the showrunner there or the producer and so it's it's very private and and it's also a really nice comfort for the actor and then for episode roles you know we're usually cast self tapes because we don't really bring only the main roles we bring for uh, the real auditions and the rest of the characters we usually do it uh, through self-taping, which really saves us a lot of time. That's really amazing because in past years, like really being in the studio and casting from the morning till the evening, you really spend a lot of time and lots of energy. And then, you know, you don't really have time to answer the emails or answer the phones. So that then you finish the casting process and then you open your um, computer and there is tons of emails and so many missed uh, uh, calls and so on. So, so I really find it um, amazing in these days that you really save your energy and with the self-taping it's, uh, it's really great. I really love it. The only changes are that it's faster. Everything is faster. And uh, that's why we also do lots of self-taping because you don't really have time for anything else. So it's like really fast. And uh, I think the project, the TV is very strong. So there is so many TV series um, being produced uh, at the moment. Uh, so there is lots of work for actors, I would say, and lots of work for casting directors. I mean, since uh, April this year, we had so many projects that I was almost, almost in burnout. I was so stressed because it was too much and very overwhelming because of the pandemic. I mean, you don't really have any, any shooting plan, you know, you're really like surfing and uh, you have to, I mean, the shootings uh, are interrupted for two weeks. So the schedule is changing and you have more time. Uh, you spend more time with the administration, actually. With changing characters, changing actors, you know, you have to be really available almost 24 hours. So it's pretty stressful. So uh, for me, I started to really pick the projects I want to do. I don't want to work. I don't want to do every project which is coming uh, to me because uh, the the I, I feel that the work is doubled sometimes and very overwhelming. But I'm really happy for the actors because they get busy, especially when the theaters uh, uh, in 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 Czech Republic the theaters are open at the moment. But for example, in Slovakia the theatres are closed, so at least the actors, they get uh, an opportunity to to film, because the filming um, doesn't stop. I don't remember exactly because I think it was when Italianta actually started. Uh -huh. I think I found it on the internet because I was uh, looking for different kinds of uh, connection especially uh, when i was because uh, i was working also with international directors and productions and then i was also looking for international actors for our for my projects and somehow i found italenta and i think it's like really really long time ago I already did. I recommend uh, uh, to my fellow friends, casting directors in uh, in Czech or Slovak Republic, when they're casting, I always recommend them to 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 register with you. And uh, also for the actors, 
if they want to enter the international market, this is the possibility. So definitely. <laughs>